welcome to Paddle and Hike. Today we're in Papineau Woods in Laval. So we're gonna have a nice little walk. It's a nice park here. It's free, big parking lot, and it's easy to access. And there's some trails that you can do. And there's like a railroad track and you can cross over. And in the summer there's like uh, some ponds and like a little bridge. So it's a nice place just to go walk around and see little animals and we'll try to see what we can see. It's such a great day to hike. It's like six degrees Celsius. I'll put the Fahrenheit on the screen, but this is really, really a nice day. So there's a lot of people for a, a weekday. There's a lot of people, but it's a fun walk. A lot of people are coming here with their dogs. The trails are done so you can come with dogs. No problem. Well, it's a nice little wood. It's really cool. There's no mountains. There's nothing like this, but just so you can be in the nature and it's not far it's Laval and for those who uh, don't like to whoa almost kill myself here those who are a bit afraid to walk in the woods or are not really safe about it or don't want to come alone and walk alone in the woods you know for about safety issues which I never seen anything happening here but don't worry about this woods because the Pepino woods just behind the woods is the police station like you could see it from here so uh <laughs> you're pretty safe if you scream you'll probably be fine <laughs> So you see there's a railroad, like a rail track that crosses from here that you can take. So we're going to talk about how to build a shelter in the snow in case of emergency. So like you see, it's like a, you make like a, some kind of an igloo out of the snow and you make a hole so the heat of your body will warm it up and you can stash yourself inside and cover yourself in case of emergency. The only problem I have with this one is, well, I have to work on it a bit because uh, I won't fit in it. <laughs> well, that's a work in progress, right? Now that I saw that there's no ice here and the, the water is flowing, I might come here and try to uh, magnet fishing. So I'll try my new kit and we can see maybe we'll find something. This this little like river thing is like been there for so long and people are probably throwing a lot of things in here. So maybe I'll be able to clean it up a bit and maybe find some interesting things because nobody swims here. 
because it's it's too dirty for that but might be able to find something so I'll come soon for sure So uh, stay tuned for uh, the couple next videos because I will be heading to the South Carolina. I will go do the foothill trails. Uh, it's planned. It's going to be in March. I'm going to go there. It's uh, around 80 miles long. It's considered a true hike, well a mini true hike, but it's still going to take me a couple days. Probably I'll, I'll try to do it in five to six days because I'm filming a lot so it takes a bit more time. Uh, it's not like I'm walking constantly. I, I stop a lot to record and vlog, so this will add up some of my uh, miles, obviously, because I have to go back and walk and blah blah blah. So all the vloggers here knows what I'm talking about. But I'll try to do it in around six days. It's over 120k, so a lot of camping, a lot of backpacking, a lot of planning. I will post a video of my gear loadout and food that I'll bring and everything soon. So, hope you'll like it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.